Hello my friends and welcome to an advanced editing session. Now you may have a problem with adding your pics. If you added them correctly like in the previous tutorial and cleaned up your page breaks like in the previous tutorial you should have no problems with blank pages. But sometimes we still get them pesky blank pages. So here you see I have text on top of my picture Uncle Sam and text below my pic or image in my Kindle viewer. This is a screenshot from my Kindle keyboard. Next page is blank. What the heck? And then comes the next page. That's wrong, obviously. If we look in my ebook, we will see that there is no blank page after Uncle Sam. And I cleaned up the page breaks and I have the right size picture. So what we're going to have to do is first some of the obvious reasons are that your text is too big you can choose your font in Kindle so it pushes the words to the other side or other the next page that's the obvious reason okay you notice there's no blank page now so what we're going to do first is turn our font all the way down to the smallest size okay turn the font down in your Kindle reader right now wherever you have it now with mine you will see these two pics fit on one page in my Kindle keyboard 600 by 800 pics screen text pick text pick next page no if I turn the if I turn the font up of course that pushes the picture out to the next page I turn the font down and they come back to the same page and then there's a, a blank page on this one too so my friends we're gonna have to get nuclear we're gonna have to get into the HTML and it's not hard it's an um, emergency edit you usually don't have to do this but here we go you're gonna open up your Calibre here is the offending book we're going to open up our edit book in Calibre click it takes a while this is a heavy program so here it comes there we go. I happen to know that these pages are 6 and 11. So we're going to double click on index split 006. Double click. And page 11. Double click. So you see we have tabs here. Page 6, page 11. And now we see the venerable HTML, the black magic. What? Your Kindle reads. Your Kindle is just an HTML reader or renderer. So, this here, my friends, is a paragraph. Yeah, let me show you that up big. This starts the paragraph. This is the end tag. This ends the paragraph. P slash P. That's HTML for paragraph. That's all we need to know right now. So, what's happening is our good old Kindle or whatever e reader we've got is reading this paragraph and assigning some space to it which is taking up that extra page it might only be one pixel or one character or one line but that's just enough to s take up the extra page page so we're going to delete that with the back button or the delete button boom boom delete the line there you go okay let's go to page 11 and let's delete that last paragraph mark it and delete it there you go see this is my image you can see that it says images 96 JPEG I probably named it myself that last paragraph didn't need to be there sometimes you will even see the pictures moving up and down in your previewer okay now importante file save save okay now when I leave it it doesn't ask me to save so now the cool thing is we just directly edited our EPUB we do not have to regenerate it all we have to do is upload it to the applicable website like Smashwords we do have to regenerate our Mobi now then go to the containing folder you may want to delete that Mobi before you regenerate it just to make sure I've already done this I know it worked and I didn't need to regenerate it so you regenerate your Mobi to take over the changes from your newly edited EPUB and then you upload that to Kindle or wherever you're going to make your millions make sure 
that you put it on your own Kindle first, like in the normal tutorial, and check it yourself. And you will see that those pesky blank pages are gone. Thanks for listening, my friends. I hope this helps. Get rid of them blank pages and finish that book. Thank you very much. See you next time.